Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Sunday, January 22nd, 2023. This puzzle has a title, it's called With Ease. Alright, let's get started. One across, warming periods. Is this talking about seasons? Is it spring or summer? Hmm. Trio with the 1995 number one hit Waterfalls. Yeah, I remember when this was on the radio. That is TLC. Okay, so this starts with a T. Hmm. My blank. You're never gonna get it. 1992 hit by In Vogue. Um. I know I know this song. I can hear it in my head. What is the name of it? Hmm. I don't know. What is this C here? Kitchen at a barbecue restaurant. And this is wordplay. It's also probably part of the theme. Hmm. Yeah, there might be something kind of wacky going on here. Jolly laugh. Is that ho ho? Like Santa Claus? Warming periods. Hmm. Passionate. Boy, there's a lot of words that mean passionate. I'm not sure what this is going to be. Misfit. Is that going to be an oddball? That's a fun bit of fill. Hmm. Maybe this could be avid. Yeah. So is it my lover? That would make sense. What is this? It's got to be plural, right? Most snarky. Hmm. I mean, it kind of has to end in EST, right? This is looking very weird to me. My name is Prince, and I am blank. Prince lyric. Uh, I'm not sure if I know this one. It's in your blood. I think this is going to be Sira, the plural of serum. That's pretty tricky. Finish second. Hmm. Is this talking about finishing second in a race? Is it not Sira? Hmm. I wonder. Something you hang your hat on. Uh, well, what could this be? It's not a peg. Is it a nail? Is that right? Like a nail in the wall? Activates as yeast. Hmm. Um, isn't that when you put it into warm water? What do you call that? Not a Big Mac. And this is wordplay. I have a feeling they're talking about Mac computers. Hmm. I don't know what it's going to be, though. It's not an iMac. Hmm. Let's see if we can get some help here. Elect. Maybe this could be about choosing. It could be opt. Yeah. Plains tribe. Is that the ute? Does that make sense? Hmm. I don't know. It could be Oto, too. Yeah. Maybe that's better. Although, wait. That has an E at the end, doesn't it? Shoot. Uh, I'm not sure what this should be. Not to go. This has got to be eating in at a restaurant, right? Could that be for here? What is this? Oh my god, this is looking so strange. Is this an S? Bugging people, perhaps. Is this about bugging people as a spy? Is it going to start with spy? Hmm. A Y here looks pretty good. I still have no idea what this is going to be. Is this a P? Yes, this could be a laptop. Okay, it's not a specific Mac computer. It's a general term. Okay. So maybe this is the Ute. Although, oh my god, this looks so strange. Hmm. Man. 
I don't know what to do up here. There's a bunch of answers that are looking very, very weird. Cheddar. I'm kind of wondering if something strange is going across this row somehow. Because both of these look really, really weird to me. Hmm. Quick moving. It's not fast. Sales promotion acronym. Is that buy one, get one? Hmm. I wonder if it's quick moving as in it's selling quickly. I'm not sure what that would be though. Hoot. Well, that could be a good time. It's not a blast though. Curious in the extreme. Hmm. Is this something that's odd? The first one was built in 1925 in San Luis Obispo, California. I have no idea. 1925. San Luis Obispo. Hmm. Uh, I have no idea what this is going to be. The office role. Okay, well, that could be Pam. Curious. Oh, is it a GOG? Oh my god. You're really excited and curious? That's really tricky. Um, hmm. That doesn't help too much here. Highly visible belly button. This is more wordplay, but it feels like another theme answer. Highly visible belly button. Is it like an Audi somehow? I have no idea. Hoot. Hmm. Fragrant medicinal plant, also called colic root. Hmm. It doesn't look like anything yet. Man, most snarky. Yeah, geez, this is tough. This theme is really holding back progress, isn't it? And this is probably going to be another theme answer here. Result of a 1960s hate Ashbury shopping spree. Oh my god, I have no idea where to even start with this one. Play parts. Okay, it's not roles. Hmm. This could also be a play in sports. Man. Corporate shakeups. And this needs to be abbreviated. Maybe it's reorgs? Yeah. Okay, we have something to build off of at least. Downfall could be ruin. Songs to be played at a concert. That's got to be a set list. Yeah. Slinky EG. I guess this could be about the toy, the Slinky. It could also just be about a person that is Slinky. Hmm. It's not lithe. It could be about a Slinky dress too, maybe. Play parts. Maybe it's scenes. Those are parts of plays, yeah. Maybe this is spying? I think it is about spies. Oh man. This is looking so strange. Maybe I just don't know this term though. Finish second. Hmm. Oof, man, this this theme, <laughs> this is really tricky. Did we look at this? Oh, Slinky, right. Hmm. It's not cozy, is it? That doesn't sound right to me. Streamlet. Is that a rill? I think that might be a word for a small waterway, yeah. So maybe this is about the toy. It could be a coil of metal. Gives a grand speech. Okay, that's got to be orates. This is an I. What to add to Iraq to make it adjectival? Iraqi? Yeah, that's an adjective. Okay. So look at this. This does end in Audi. Highly visible belly button. Hmm. I mean, I wonder if the first part of this answer just means highly visible and you just sort of put them together and maybe it makes a new phrase 
Maybe that's what's going on. Hmm. We're not going to get much more help here, are we, though? We had a lot of trouble up here. Barbecue restaurant. Is this an eatery? Eatery could be restaurant. Maybe it's not nail. Yeah, although this would be two A's in a row. That seems even worse. Hmm. Well, let's come back to this section. We're really struggling here. Maybe when we get all the information on how the theme is working, it'll help us get this one. Chatter. Is it gab? Displays of shock. Yeah, that could be gasps. Start to play. And this is wordplay, so it's not about starting to play on a playground. Maybe it's a word that goes before the word play. We thought this could be an A. Hmm. I don't know. Is this a B? Put on no pretensions. Is it B real? Hmm. Nail as a test. Yeah, that's going to be A's. Potentially adoptable pup? Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Is it somebody that's at a shelter? Potentially adoptable. I don't know. 1960s. Maybe this is about a hippie. It could start with hippie, right? Um, isn't Hate ashbury a really high-end shopping district in London, I want to say? Hmm. Start to play. Oof, man. One's coming home at homecoming. That's got to be alums. Okay. Proficient. I think this has to be able. Host could be a slew. That's a lot of something. Fine by me, an equivalent phrase. UW. That looks really, really weird. Hmm. Sin City. It's not Vegas? Really? What's going on here? This really seems like it should be Vegas. Great Britain geographically. Well, it's an island. Is it an isle? Oh, is this Sodom? We're talking about a sin city from the Bible. Commits piracy. Hmm. Is this piracy on the internet or piracy on the ocean? I'm not sure. Avant-garde. That could be edgy. Okay. I am not a glutton. I am an explorer of blank. Irma Bombeck. Okay, well, she was a humorist, so this has got to be something punny or funny. I am not a glutton. Is it an explorer of food? Yeah, I guess so. This has got to be a dog. Maybe it's a stray dog. Yeah. Shouldn't this be act one? That's the start of a play, right? So this is hippie with an I-E. Is that how it's always spelled? I thought it was with a Y. Hippie what? This looks like it has to be if you wish. Yeah, that's a good equivalent. Is it hippie booty? And this is loots? Yeah, that sounds right. Why is this hippie booty? I mean, I guess you get booty from a shopping spree. And hippies are from the 1960s. Hippie booty. Hippie booty doesn't mean anything to me. Oh no. I was hoping we'd be able to get help with these first theme answers. Hmm. Now I'm a little worried. Shifty. Could that be sly? Sauces made with basil and pine nuts. Okay, that's got to be pestos. Up to informally should be till. It's up for a debate. Hmm. 
it's not an idea. It's got to be an issue. Yeah. Good friend who won't stop snooping. Okay, this has got to be another theme answer. Um, or is it? Maybe it's just another wordplay clue. Is it nosy? It looks like it's going to start with nosy. Yuck, an equivalent phrase. Hmm. Subwoofer sound. That's got to be bass. Actress Fisher of Now You See Me. Uh, I feel like I've heard of an Isla Fisher. Is that right? Alternative to sparkling. That could be still. That would be an alternative to sparkling water. Turkish money. Ooh, is it lira? I'm not sure if that's right. Letters found in a so-called super vocalic word. I think that's A-E-I-O-U. I think super vocalic means it contains all of the vowels, yeah. Language in which puzzle is pidsa. It looks like that has to be Lao. Go Tigers school? Why is go spelled like this? Um, maybe it's LSU, and it's kind of a joke because it's sort of French sounding, and they speak French in Louisiana. That's pretty funny. Maybe it is Liras. I think that was a pretty decent guess. Shumpa Blank, author of the Pulitzer winning Interpreter of Maladies. I've definitely not heard of this author before. Is this Nosy Bestie? Okay, well, the good friend part was at the end and the snooping part was at the beginning. So I guess that doesn't determine what order things go in. Nosy Bestie, what is going on with these theme answers? These are so weird. They don't require much study. Is this going to be eye tests again? It doesn't look like it. Hmm. SETI subjects. Well, that's the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. So I think this is going to be UFOs. One who's rolling in money. Hmm. Is this actually about having a lot of money? Rolling in money, hmm. I wonder if it's some kind of pun. Some cameras in brief. Okay, that's gotta be single lens reflex cameras. Yuck, maybe that's nasty. I'm toast. And this is an exclamation mark clue, so we need something that's literally toast. I guess that's gonna be bread, right? British sailor in slang. Hmm, I'm not sure if I know this. Comedian Rudolph. Okay, that's Maya Rudolph. Oof. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna know that. Went 90, say. That's gotta be sped in a car. Big name in printing. I think this should be Epson. Feature of Sylvester's speech. Sylvester the cat had a lisp. Suffering Thuckatash. Stall of 60 minutes. I believe that's Leslie Stall. Okay, prenuptial agreement. This has got to be another theme answer. Uh, does it start with Sweetie? Hmm, why would it start with Sweetie? Like Chicken Cordon Bleu originally. I don't think I'm going to know this one. Take a load off. That's got to be rest. Hmm. I wonder if that helps up here. Not really. It's not a model, right? It can't be. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, man. This corner. Hmm. Skateboard tricks. It's not Ollie's, is it? Did I misspell Leslie? Is it EY? Oh no. Burnable media. That could be CDs. Is exultant. 
Okay, so this is kind of basking in victory. I wonder if it's crows. Yeah, like shouting how happy you are. Hmm, is this an R? Be an agent for, yeah, that could be rep. Maybe it is crows. City of 16 plus million straddling the Yamuna River. 16 million is a lot of people. I'm going to guess that that's Delhi in India. 710 EG in bowling. That is a split. Yeah, that's the worst split you can get. I think this is going to be Ollie's. Yeah, let's try putting Ollie's in here. Long anecdote from a complainer. Another theme answer. Um, I think it's got to start with wine. Man, these theme answers are so tough. Takes a load off. Okay, that's got to be sits. That's a partner to rest up here. Okay, gut feelings. That's got to be instincts, right? Um, hmm. Fruit-based dessert or a possible description of its flavor. I think that's going to be tart. We had tarts on yesterday's puzzle, I think. Seton, who wrote Dragon Wick. I have no idea. I don't know if I've ever heard of this before. Prayer leaders. Is that going to be rabbis? That would fit. Whence Feng Shui. Okay, so where does Feng Shui come from? That's from China. All right. Taking out the trash for one. That is a chore. Navajo dwelling. Ooh, um, it's not an adobe? Hmm, part of QED. That's quad erat demonstrandum. What was to be proven. Cozy spots. That's got to be dens. Made a case. Maybe you pled your case. Rustic abode. Looks like that's going to be a log cabin. So is this a Hogan? I feel like maybe I've seen that before. What is this? Bad person for a gambler to make bets with. Hmm. Well, I think this is going to be a bookie. Is it a phony bookie? Ooh, hang on a second. Okay, so it's phony bookie instead of phone book, right? phony bookie so each half is getting an e sound added to it phone book becomes phony bookie does that happen here too nosy bestie okay so the original phrase is nose best oh my god okay we finally cracked it open so this should be hip boot what is a hip boot is that a boot that goes up to your hip? Hmm, I've never heard of that before. I'm gonna guess that's what it is though. Highly visible belly button. Okay, so this is Audi and the original phrase ends with out. This has gotta be a Y to give us that E sound. Um, highly visible, pointy Audi. Point out, yeah, oh my god, okay. All right, we got a little bit more help here, that's really good. A hoot can be a riot, there we go. Quick moving, is that brash? I don't know, that seems weird. I wonder if Syra is wrong, that feels like it's holding us back. Maybe this is brash. I have no idea. Man, that would help so much. Maybe this is a motel. That would make sense that the first motor hotel was built in California. Okay, uh, does this end in danger? No, that doesn't make sense. Hmm. What was this again? Kitchen. Oh man. We are having trouble here. Finish second. Oh God. Um, 
I'm still going to have trouble up here. Let's come back to that. Long anecdote. Whiny story? Wine store. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Whiny story. Parlor offering for short. You could get a tattoo from a tattoo parlor. One with an underground colony. That'll be an ant. Although PRT? Bit of hype informally. Well, I guess it could start with PR. Um, How's it going to end, though? It's not a PR trek, right? Oh, this is going to be a limey. I have heard of that. So this has got to be sweetie. And then... The original phrase starts with sweet. Hmm. Plants used in wickerwork furniture. I think this is going to be rattans. I think that's used in wicker. So maybe it's a sweet treat. And then it could be a sweetie treaty. Oh my god, these wacky phrases are crazy. Okay, so maybe this is a fat cat. It is about having a lot of money. Taiwanese President Blank Ing Wen. I don't think I know this name. Spots on a Rorschach card. That is blot. That's the ink blot test. Hmm. They don't require much study. This has got to be a vowel. Maybe it's an A? Yeah, it could be easy A's. Those are classes that don't require much study. So this is Jumpa Lahiri. Yeah, I've never heard of that person. And I'm not going to know this one either. Blank tack. Mint. Okay, that's a tic tac. Scoop. Maybe that's info. Give me the scoop. Is this Mount Etna? Italian mount. Yes, it is. Language in which puzzle is Puzal. Wow, we've had two of these clues today. That's interesting. Um, what could this be? Could it be heirs? Tinkerbell or Puck? Okay, well, uh, this is a fairy, and this is a satyr, right? He's kind of a goat man. Um, hmm. What is this? If this was an R, does it start with craft? Hmm. Sorry to say, you guessed wrong. An equivalent phrase. Is it, yeah, no? I don't know about that. Word that may come from a pen. Word that may come from a pen. Hmm. Oh, it's going to be a pig pen. It'll be oink. That's very tricky. Cozy stopover. That'll be an in to go with our motel up here. It appears blue as a result of Rayleigh scattering. I guess that's the sky. I guess if your kid asks why the sky is blue, you can just say, it's a result of Rayleigh scattering. That should placate them. One of the Corleones. I think there was a Sunny, right? In The Godfather? Skiing areas. That's gotta be slopes. So this is PR talk. Oh man, okay. Hmm, maybe this is alas, no? Oh my god. I think this does have to be heirs or Gaelic. What is this? Is that understood? Is that capiche? Yeah. So this does start with craft. It's got to be crafty. Um... So the original phrase starts with craft. I have no idea what it's going to be, though. Hang around. That's got to be loiter. Chimes and dimes vis-a-vis -vis this clue's answer. Well, chimes and dimes rhymes. <laughs> That's pretty cute. Nueva York, por ejemplo. Okay, so we need the Spanish word for state. Uh, what is that? It's Estado, right? I think it's like that. Yeah, let's see if that's right. Farm structure. That's a sty. Kind of like our pig pen over here. Top part of Scotland. 
And this is wordplay, so I guess it's not going to be the top part of Scotland geographically. Maybe it's a tam, a tam o'shanter. That's a Scottish hat. Blank Park, home to the University of Chicago. Hmm, I definitely don't know that. Interlocking bricks, that's got to be Legos, although pedants will tell you that it's Lego, not Legos. Didn't give forever. What does that mean? Didn't give? Is this about holding fast? Hmm, that's a tricky one. Plant with purple pink flowers. It's not lilac. Hmm, is that understood? You hear? That doesn't fit. Hmm, it's the same as capiche, right? Interesting. What is this one? Acolyte with a bad temper. Okay, I think that has to start with testy. Okay, so the original starts with test. Is this Hyde Park? I've heard of a Hyde Park. Hmm. Does that help here? Not really. So this has got to be an acolyte, right? What is a word for an acolyte that starts with G? Hmm. I'm blanking on that. Yeah. I wonder if we can start back up here. Throat bug. Yeah, that's got to be strep. Okay. Worry for a speakeasy? That's definitely going to be a police raid. Slips up. That's going to be airs. Layer. Hmm. Layer. What kind of a layer are they talking about? Astronomer Sagan. That's Carl Sagan. Oh, maybe this is ply, like toilet paper. Okay. Worth a try. I really want it to be it couldn't hurt, but I don't think that fits. Hmm. Is this Tsai Ing Wen? I think that might be right. Uh, Tinkerbell or Puck? Is it Crafty Fairy? Okay, so it was Craft Fair. There we go. What many clocks and card games have. I guess it's going to be hands, right? Those are different kinds of hands. Although, YH? Is it you hear? Oh my god. That's really, really nasty because this is very much in dialect. And this is not at all. Wow, that's really, really hard. Um, is it Heather? I know Heather is a plant. Does it have flowers? Let's see. State of uneasiness informally. Hmm. Is this testy groundy? Test ground? A ground isn't an acolyte, though. Testy groupy? Test group. Yeah, that could be. Testy groupy. Let's see if that's right. One on one Olympics event. Yeah, that's going to be Epe. That's fencing. All blank? Hmm. It's not all right. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, feeling? Uh. Is it ESP? Are you reading someone's mind? Is that right? Difficult to climb in a way. Yeah, that could be steep. Okay. Oh, it's all rise in a courtroom. Wow, okay. Word with code or rehearsal. That's got to be dress. Hmm. State of uneasiness. I don't know about Heather here, although this does look like it's going to be it can't hurt. Didn't give forever. What? Hmm. It feels like something's wrong here. Hmm. Well, this is starting to look like it should be lent. You didn't give it to someone forever, you just lent it to them. But then... Fantods? State of uneasiness, that can't be right. Hmm. I wonder which one of these is wrong. These all seem so good. 
fan tods. I just cannot accept that that's what it is. State of uneasiness. Oh man. This is really bad. Fan tods. Yeah, there's got to be something wrong here. Well, I'm going to go back to this corner and see if I can make any progress. And then maybe we can struggle with this as our last entry. I'll come back to you when I have some good ideas of what we should put in up here. Oh, wait a minute. This should be thaws, right? How did we not think of that? Oh my god. Um, Is this not lover? Okay, this was just a guess. So this is not lover. Maybe this is... Oh man, I would want this to be snidest, but that would mean oddball is not right. I guess that could be true. My lovin' maybe? Yeah. Oh my god, this plant, colic root. Let's take out oddball. Um. And let's take out Nail, too, because I feel like that's holding us back up here. Isn't this Proofs? I believe it should be Proofs. Yeah, so maybe this is Oto. Actually, I think you might be able to spell it without the E as well. So this could be a Rack. Yeah, it's all starting to come together. Um, is this a Factory? Kitchen at a barbecue restaurant. Hmm. Well, that would mean the original phrase ends in factor. It's not ick factor. Hmm. Okay, so this is place. Misfit. It's got to start with odd still, right? Um. My name is Prince. I don't think he says, and I am fishy, right? That's hard for me to believe. It's in your blood. Okay, so this is not Sira. Hmm, maybe it's a gene? Maybe they're talking more figuratively? Although, maybe Brash is not right either. Oh my god. Um, maybe it is brisk instead and this could be funky yeah i'm much more liable to believe that prince said he was funky so this is an odd duck oh i love it okay and this is snidest um i think this has to be wild ginger because this looks like it has to be chili factory right instead of chill factor like wind chill factor Oh my god, what a tough first theme answer. That was really, really hard. All right, well, I think this is wrong, but let's throw an L in here and just see if by some miracle, this is all right. What? <laughs> I cannot believe we got the completion screen here. This is wild. A Sunday puzzle in 50 minutes. That's a pretty slow Sunday time. Yeah, this was a very difficult theme. So this is actually a real word, fantods, state of uneasiness informally. This word puts me into a fantod, oh my god. That is such a weird one. There was a bunch of other pretty tricky fill today too. We had Hogan, that's kind of a rare one. Rattan, yeah. I thought the fill on this puzzle was pretty hard. There was some kind of rare names today too. We had Tsai Ing Wen, we had Leslie Stahl. I mean, the names weren't the worst part, but there was a couple of tough ones on here. I still can't believe this E here. That was absolutely brutal. But anyway, let's talk about this theme. So this theme is all about wackified phrases. Yeah, we've got two word phrases whose constituent words both ended in E sound. We had a chili factory. And if you remove those E sounds, you get an original phrase that makes much more sense. Chill factor. Yeah, these theme phrases are all very wacky. We ended up with hippie booty instead of a hip boot. Pointy outy instead of point out. Nosy bestie instead of nose best. 
sweetie treaty instead of sweet treat and so on. Yeah, these were all pretty funny, but it took a really long time to figure out this theme. Yeah, I think the fact that it was a sound that we had to remove made it very, very difficult to see. And it caused a whole bunch of trouble up in this section. Oh man. Plus the fact that we had two or three wrong answers put in here. Yeah, that took a long time to untangle. But thankfully we finally managed to do it. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed being a testy groupie for that wacky Sunday theme. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the easiest puzzle of the week, the Monday. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.